Hello, and welcome to Math 107. My name is Tom Ewing, and I will be your instructor for this course. Math 107 is our top-of-the-line college algebra course. It is the top of a three-course sequence, Math 009, Math 012, and then Math 107. It will transfer to any university of your choice, and it will satisfy your degree requirements for a college algebra course. But the main strength of Math 107 is that it is the gateway to the higher courses in mathematics that Maryland offers. It is a gateway to our trigonometry and our calculus courses. So most of you will be taking this course because taking calculus is into your degree requirements for your particular chosen major. Uh, it is a conceptual level course. Uh, it is not a practical course. It must be a conceptual level course in order to give you the algebraic foundation that you need to actually do the calculus, which will come later. Maryland does have a very practical math course, Math 103, and in this course, we will teach you everyday useful realities, such as how to work with a mortgage, how to work with an annuity, how to gamble, how to pay your income tax, and what would be the probability of a hurricane in any given year. So this is a practically orientated course but unfortunately, since it is not offered online, many of you are taking Math 107 not because you will be going on to calculus, but simply because you are only able to take online courses. So I understand there will be some mixture of students in the class. This is a very demanding class. You should expect to spend 20 hours a week on this course. Now, if you do not have 20 hours a week scheduled for this course, the best thing that you can do is to rearrange your schedule and to free up those 20 hours. If you cannot do that, then maybe you ought to consider not taking the course. But if you can't do this and you still want to take the course, then you have got to expect disappointing results as far as your grade goes and that you won't learn as much as I would be happy to see you learn. However, if you do decide to take the course without the 20 hours a week, I will continue to support you. Um, this class will rely heavily on an adaptive learning program called My Math Lab. Each week you will be given some assignments in My Math Lab and you will be expected to complete them. And our early quizzes, say our first two or three quizzes, will also be taken in my math lab. Now, as to where your grade is coming from, that's available to you in the syllabus. There will be some number of quizzes, and there will be a final examination, and the homework will also count as um, part of your grade. But the thing that you might not be used to is that since I know that it's very difficult to learn mathematics from a textbook, it's much easier to learn it from a person. So therefore, each week, I will select some number of YouTube videos dealing with the topics of that week and require that you watch them. Thereby, you're learning math from a person. Also, each week, I will require you to go out and select one such YouTube video yourself on the topic for that week and to post it onto our Leo website, where my required videos will also be posted. And then the third thing that you have to do for your LEO participation points each week is to critique one of your classmates' posted videos. This will tell, get you more involved with your classmates and you will come to know each other. So there are three tasks that comprise your LEO participation for each week, which you must do each week. One, you must re watch the required videos that I choose, and two, you must select one of your own and three, you must critique one of your classmates' videos. Now, every day in this class, it is required that you open the LEO website and that you read the news. This is a very dynamic and fast-moving course, and there will be announcements from myself 
on what we're doing that day and the next day almost on a daily basis. And it's required. It's not optional. It's actually required that you open that website every day and read the latest news. Therefore, right now I have given you two points on your final grade for reading the news. However, every time that you do not read the news for as much as two days, then I will deduct some of that for some percentage of those two points from your final grade, and they will be gone. So this class will also have some uh, homework assigned from our textbook, and those are suggested problems for myself. We have a very excellent textbook, and each week before you attempt the My Math Lab homework assignment, one, you should read the textbook. It's a very good textbook. Don't bypass reading the textbook and doing the examples. I know that you will not learn math by listening to me, and I know that you will not learn math by watching the videos. I know you will not learn math by reading the text. The only way you will learn how to do math is by doing math. So it's imperative that you actually do the suggested problems each week in the textbook that I suggest, and then further, that you go to my math lab and do those assigned problems also each week. So we will get started in a few days now, so thank you very much.